Today, we will demonstrate how to rebuild Power Grid's rotary vane AC vacuum pump number 66127. Before conducting any maintenance on your vacuum pump, refer to the vacuum pump maintenance sheet located in the instruction or service manual provided with your lifter. It will provide a pictorial reference for the parts and process involved. Always disconnect all power from the lifter and vacuum pump before servicing. The service kit, WPG number 66175, contains four carbon vanes and two replacement filters. Additionally, if the gasket needs replacing, you will also need WPG part number 66175AB, the replacement gasket. The following tools will be needed to perform this maintenance. Pliers, a rubber hammer, a ratchet, 7 sixteenths and 3 8 inch socket, a torque wrench. Using the pliers, begin by removing the filter screws from the front of the vacuum pump. Note, these are plastic screws. Avoid forcing them. Remove the five bolts from the muffler box using the ratchet and 7 16 inch socket. Remove the muffler box. If needed, use the rubber hammer to tap on the muffler box to aid removal. Never pry the box off by placing any object in the seam between the muffler box and the end plate. If the gasket is damaged, discard the gasket. Remove the six end plate bolts using the ratchet and 3 8 inch socket. Remove the end plate and shroud. Do not take the pump apart any further. You do not want to remove the body, rotor, or motor bolts as this can damage the internal clearances of the rotor and cause the pump to fail. Take note of the direction of the taper on the veins and then remove the old veins. If there are any rust deposits, these should be cleaned off. A fine sanding cloth or scotch brite pad will typically work for this. If needed, clean out the rotor and the housing body to remove any carbon dust left from the old veins and or abrasive dust. Gas AH255D flushing solvent or a good quality electrical cleaner works for this. Install the new veins, making sure the beveled edge is facing the correct way. Replace the end plate and torque the bolts to 110 inch pounds, 12.4 newton meters. Install the gasket and replace the muffler box. Hand tighten the muffler box bolts, making sure the gasket is lined up with the edge of the muffler box before fully tightening with the 7 16 socket. Remove the old filters from the filter screws and clean the o-ring. Reinstall the o-ring and install the new filters. Reinstall the filter screws into the muffler box, taking care not to over tighten the screws. Tighten the muffler box bolts to 110 inch pounds, 12.4 newton meters, and retighten the filter screws if necessary. Your vacuum pump is now ready to return to service.